A cutback is a maneuver that takes the kite surfer from the shoulder of the wave back to the pocket of the wave. Cutbacks are a strategic version of a carve. The main structural difference between the two is that cutbacks are often performed on the shoulder of the wave, as opposed to classic carves, which are usually done closer to the critical part. When choosing to go for a cutback, the kite surfer's objective is to reposition themselves in the pocket. To start learning the cutback, you should have the top and bottom turn under your belt and feel confident with your kite control in the waves. The ideal conditions for starting to work on your cutbacks are side shore, side onshore, an onshore wind, and medium-sized, mellow waves. You start to maneuver when you are moving away from the curl, heading down the line driving up the face of the wave on the shoulder. Let go of the bar with your front hand, with your back hand remaining on the bar close to the center. Letting go of the bar with your front hand allows you to open up your upper body and shoulders and twist in the direction of the breaking wave. Look towards the white water and shift your weight to the heel side rail of your board to initiate the change in direction, engaging the fins and rail. Cut a sharp arc on the wave face and point the nose of the board towards the pocket of the wave. Sheeting out on your bar at that very moment enables you to really open up and thus use the weight of your upper body more effectively and attack more aggressively. Ensure to keep minimum line tension throughout as this is essential for a deeper carve and to get close to the critical part of the wave. Feel free to stick your hand in the water as you turn. Once you get close to the critical part of the wave, shift your weight to the other rail to initiate another change in direction back down the line. Alternatively, you can use the white water to help initiate your change in direction back down the line. In order to perform a fluid cutback, it's essential that you fly your kite at about 45 degrees and steer it forward before you initiate the first change in direction to maintain line tension and a consistent pull when you need it. Continuously adjusting the power of the kite to respond to the changing sweet spot as you progress through the maneuver is crucial. Failing to release power from the kite or not rotating the trunk of your body during the initial change in direction will result in the cutback lacking power and not wrapping around back to the pocket. Let's summarize the key elements. Kite at about 45 degrees or higher. Let go of your front hand. Shift your weight to the heel side rail. Sheet out and twist your body to initiate a change in direction. Complete the cutback in the white water by turning your board back towards the shoulder of the wave. Enjoy your ride with the Duotone Kiteboarding Academy.